an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes My question is more nuanced. You sat in this courtroom while Officer Science testified that she saw you the night of May 21, 2016, face to face, and didn't see any injuries on your face. Isn't that correct, Ms. Hurd? I believe she was testifying about these photographs, and she said that I was not injured in them. Is it your testimony under oath now that Officer Signs testified that she saw injuries on you when she saw you in person on May 21? Sorry, let me clarify. I was testifying that I know that that's what Officer Signs said, that she didn't consider my red puffy face injured. That's what she said. The red puffy face that was your counsel's question, correct? Uh, that was she her said, testimony in the UK. That's incorrect, and you know that, Ms. Hurd. I disagree. It's just inconvenient for you that Officer Science didn't see injuries on you on May 21, 2016. Isn't it doesn't matter right? what's convenient for me. Right. And Officer Tyler Haddon also testified by deposition about being called to the Eastern Columbia building on May 21, 2016, and he also testified no injuries on your face on May 21, 2016. Isn't that correct? They both said that they did not consider me injured. They did not see injuries on your face on May 21, 2016. Isn't that what their testimony was? What their testimony was is that they did not consider what my face looked like to be injury. They didn't consider what they walked on in the house damage, but it was. You were sitting here when Officer William Gatlin testified by deposition about being called on May 21 to the Eastern Columbia building, and he also did not observe any injuries on you, did he? he and that's what he testified to. He didn't even know which one I was. No, I think we all saw on video camera, you identify yourself, isn't that correct? I had to because of how far away he was. He didn't even know, he didn't even know who he was But after you see. identified yourself, he looked at you, isn't that correct? From a distance, yes. And he didn't see any visible injuries either, did he? I don't know what he saw. He testified that he didn't see any visible injuries, did I he? I would believe that he didn't, yes. You were also in this courtroom when Alejandro Romero, who worked at the front desk at the Eastern Columbia Building, testified about seeing you on May 25th, 2016. Isn't that correct? That is correct. I think he said the 25th. Yeah. And Mr. Romero testified that he didn't see any swelling or bruises on your face when you were talking to him at the front desk. He wouldn't have. No, he wouldn't have, even though he had a habit, because his parents taught him correctly to look into someone's eyes when speaking to them. Isn't that correct? I know that's what he testified to, yes. You testified yesterday that you sought a temporary restraining order on May 27, 2016 because you wanted to change your locks. Do you remember that testimony? Yes, I do. Those locks were to the penthouses at the Eastern Columbia Building, isn't that correct? That's correct. But you changed the locks to the penthouses on May 22, 2016. I attempted to. That's why you felt comfortable having James Franco over the evening of May 22nd, 2016, Ms. Hurd? I do not know when, I do not know when James came over. Okay, let's remind you. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 304, which is already in evidence, and play from 254 through 439? So you're inviting yet another fucking man to Johnny Depp's penthouse. It wasn't yours, bitch. That was all his paper by his fucking money, bitch. And you invite James Franco? And you say that Johnny Depp is jealous of you? You have got to fucking be kidding me, Amber Turd.
That's you and Mr. Franco on May 22nd, 2016, right, Ms. Hurd? That's correct. And you're taking him up to the penthouses, aren't you? That's where I lived, yes. And it's past 11 p.m. at night, isn't that right? I'm not quite sure of the time it looked, it looked like that. Why don't we pull that video back up? Twenty-two fifty-one. Almost midnight, right? That's uh, or excuse me, almost eleven o'clock at night. Exactly. Okay. You knew Mr. Depp was out of town the week of May twenty-one, two thousand sixteen, didn't you? I don't know what I knew of his schedule at the time. You knew Mr. Depp was out of town on May twenty-seventh when you went to get the domestic violence restraining order, isn't that right? I don't know if I knew that at the time. You knew, you knew Mr. Depp was heading out on a European tour that week, isn't that right? I'm not quite sure what I understood of his schedule at that time. You knew he wouldn't be back for weeks, right? No, that's incorrect. Let's uh, go back to that recording. It's uh, Defendant's Exhibit 598. Uh, so you testified that you and Mr. Depp were in the car outside of his studio. Is that right? Yes. And you were trying to prevent him from going into his studio to do drugs, right? Uh, yeah, to effectively start another cycle. Right. Not that Mr. Depp was just trying to go into his house to see his daughter, right? His daughter might be one of the people that was in the house at that time, but that's so neither here nor there. That your testimony is now him from entering a cycle. Your testimony is now that Mr. Depp does drugs in front of his children? Well, first of all, I know he does. Um, second of all, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have stopped him from using with his friends, which is the problem, not whether or not his daughter was there. Okay. Um, let's play, please, defendants 598 at 4948 through 5035. I'm sorry, 5035. I'm not. I'm itching. I don't want to be doing this. I want it just to, why don't you just say, okay, baby, I understand. I'll go home and you do your thing, hang out with your daughter, and then I'll see you in a couple hours and we'll talk about it. Is it that difficult to say that? Or you just fucking hate me and you want to be shitty about it? Please. No, maybe she did hate you, Johnny, because she sure treated you like she fucking hated you. First she beats up on her fucking wife before you, then she beats on you, and she just wanted to have power and control over you, and that's all the fuck it was, trifling bitch. And in one of those recordings, you told Mr. Depp, quote, I hope to God Jack's stepfather teaches him more about being a man than your fucking, your fucking left nut, end quote. Do you remember that? I do not remember what exactly I could hear of that recording. I remember I heard, heard myself make a mention of uh, Jack's new stepfather, or potential stepfather, I can't recall. Jack is Mr. Depp's son, right? That is correct. And I believe at the I was referencing a marriage that his ex-partner was going to have or getting into, I suppose. You were referencing that uh, Jack's new stepfather would teach him how to be a man because Mr. Depp couldn't. I right? don't recall exactly what I said, but it was something to that effect. Let's listen to some of what happened before you said that uh, to Mr. Depp. Um, if we could please play Plaintiff's Exhibit 397, which is already in evidence. And for the record, it's at 3504 through 3547. And then the next clip is 3635 through 4308. I wish I had fucking had 
I wish I fucking had me. I wish I fucking had not bought into any of your fucking lies, your bullshit, your sober fucking presence, your fucking goodness, your sweetness, all the lies. I wish I hadn't bought into the months of you being you. I wish I hadn't bought into the promises. I wish I hadn't fucking thought I could have kids with you. You are a fucking kid yourself. I wish I hadn't bought into any of the lies you sold. Talk about fake bill of goods. You're the biggest fucking seller of fake fucking bill of goods. Talk about presenting yourself as something. I did myself you're not. as a fake suck my dick. Good. Suck my I dick. fucking you uh, you you left nothing and I've left suck everything. So suck, suck your dick. Yeah, go on. Which is probably your next suck. move to this fucking move. No, I don't want to suck, suck your dick. I don't want nothing to do with your fucking Oh, suck, they need something. Well, go get it, man. Because I need something. Go on. Huh? Fucking fucking suck. No shit, I don't. Suck it. I don't want to. It's right. It's giving me all the gas. No, that's not really the truth, Amber. Actually, it kind of is. It kind of is? What about yeah. somebody? You know what's going on? Not much. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, is it? What is it? No, I'm sure yeah. Rochelle's available. Call uh -huh. her up. I'm sure know. she's available. I'm sure she is. We'll see. I'm sure she is. I'll let you know. Oh, I'm sure she is. I'm sure her for her yoga vlog. That's fake laugh. That's fake oh, laugh. It's too much to take. No, I'm sure she's. That's fake laugh. So, just... so disgusting. I'm sure she's great. I'm sure she's great. Who are you to judge anybody's fucking parenting? And if anything, Johnny put his kids ahead of everything else, bitch. You, on the other fucking hand, are not worth the shit that came out of your ass and landed on his side of the bed, bitch. Trifling whore. <laughs> No, oh, I'm right. I don't regret. I don't regret. Oh, what else? What else don't do you do? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. What else? What else other things do you want to add? Yeah, you to fucking lie in pieces. You what? Oh, no. I want to know. I want to know. Get out of your Uber, Zach. I'm kind of waiting. Hooked on phonics worked for me. Hey, that's me when I was younger and blonder. Waiting. Go get it. <laughs> yeah, Wait, is there no other place for you to run in your 15 other houses to go run? Come on, go be a real married man. Go deal with your shit the way that a man does. Go run to the next house. Every man does. Yeah, go. Run away. I know it's hard to look at yourself. It's fucking ridiculous plan. It's hard. It's hard. fucking plan. It's hard. It's hard. It's screwing everybody else over to get You're right. your fucking... I tried. Yeah, that's you. what I do. You're the most spoiled fucking brat. Yeah. You got everybody out here almost oh, full, but it don't right. last long. You're right. I've been sorry. here a lot longer you're than right. you. You're right. You gotta figure it out. You don't you have to figure out what you have to offer as opposed to going out and getting your kids out. You're right. That's what I do. Well, yeah. Okay. Let me give this answer. You're right. You're Excellent right. Excellent choice. Back to that. Well, I wonder what we else. <laughs> I wonder what else we can reach for in the last 60 years. <laughs> Oh, no, it was four years ago. You're right. Yeah, I'm sure there's other things that you can find. Go laugh. No, I'm not laughing. Oh, I, no, matter of fact, I'm laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm not. It's oh. serious. I'm sure you can find other things. Oh, <laughs> I know, I know. And stripping. Yeah. Well, there's always no. that. You can You're right. Go back you can write a, another, you can write a book. You can write a book. I know, years. you can write a book. Oh, is this going to be good for your book? Oh, should I have you sign an NDA for your book? You your book. You're is this going to be good for your book? Is this going to be good for your book? Hey. I'll write hey. what I want. I'll write I have what a good idea. I'll be somewhere of your journals. You don't want to sell out or anything. Let's sell you journals. Oh, wait. Hey. Hey, you know. No, you're not watching. No, no, you're not selling out. No, no, you're not selling out. No, 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 you're not selling out. 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 No,
just 21 drunk straight in there in their 20s. No, you're right. That's not selling you out. No. When you're in your 20s, you should really know what you want. Like I selling your journals. I don't know. <laughs> if, you didn't, if you didn't know who the fuck I was. You're right. Go sell your journals like a real non seller. Uh, <laughs> or, oh, I'm sorry. 50. 6. 2. 51. I don't know. It doesn't matter at this point. No. I don't think so. I, really don't. I don't really think so. But you're right. I mean, hey, at least I didn't be like a TV show where I was heartbroken in my 20s. God, that would be like embarrassing. Wow. If only I was with someone in their 50s that could point that out to me. I'm actually fine. You're right. When you play a non sexualized object, oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. You're right. You got me. You got to help figure that. I don't even know what movies I've done. You haven't even taken an interest. If only I could be like you. If only I could be like I had to watch your fucking direct and you trying to like You're a joke. Spew out your fucking lines. You're a joke. You're a joke. Yeah, I'm the joke in the industry, Amber. I'm the joke. I'm the joke in the industry. I can't really hear you. I'm sorry. The reruns of all my bullshit are playing too loud. You. I'm just going. you are just a big overgrown fucking kid, you fucking bitch. Laughing and antagonizing him. You wanted him to snap so he would hit you. That's what the fuck you wanted. But guess what, bitch? It didn't happen, did it? Stay in Spain where the fuck you live, bitch. Don't come back to the U.S. How am I way back? Sorry, I can't hear you. Aquaman. Oh, 21 is whatever it was. I was I don't remember like, anymore. I was 20. Nobody cares. <laughs> you fucking watch it. Wash the piece of oh, shit. What? Oh, what? What? Wash the piece what? of shit. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, what? Your jealousy is so tragic. I'm sorry. Your jealousy is so me. tragic. Fucking like thinking you. that I'm going on a road with a band. Hey, I can't hear you. <coughs> Sorry. Told Mr. Dennis told Mr. Depp to suck your dick multiple times, didn't you? Yes, I did. You tell him to go run to his 15 other houses, right? That's correct. Because that's what he would do when you behave like this, isn't it? Eventually, he would go and stay in one of the other houses. You call him a sellout, don't you? I was expressing frustration uh, about his criticism of my career and how many problems that caused within the dynamic of our relationship, yes. So you call him a sellout and a joke? I called him horrible, ugly things, as you can hear. Sellout. We, we spoke to each other in a really horrible way. Pretty sure. We just heard you speak to him in a really horrible way. You called him a sellout, I just right, Miss Heard? Um, you well, called I, him a sellout, right, Miss Heard? I called him a lot of ugly things. And a joke. I called him a lot of ugly things. You called him a joke on that recording. You called him a washed up piece of shit. I think we both called each other that on that uh, occasion, yes. Mr. Depp mentions Aquaman, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? Excuse me? Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? No, Miss Vasquez, I got myself that role by auditioning. That's Mr. how that Depp works. says, quote, your jealousy is so tragic. I heard him say that, yes. You just showed your fucking jealousy, bitch. You wanted to take credit for getting yourself that role in Aquaman. He's the one that even got them to look at you for a pass of fucking ability, you dumb bitch. And you know that, and you hate it. Oh, fucking well. He did more for your career in the time he was with you than you ever did in your whole entire fucking life. Suck it up, buttercup. You were the jealous one in this relationship, weren't you, Miss Heard? I think he was indicating I was jealous of his career. And now you've twisted it to say it was Mr. Depp. That's the jealous one. Johnny's always been very jealous when I worked, when I did anything, friends. Yes, he's always been very jealous. Johnny Depp wanted you to go spend time with your friends more than not. So he wouldn't have to deal with your punk ass. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, reaction to this stupid bitch once again. I'm gonna be doing a reaction to that 
doctor, Dr. Spiegel, or whatever the fuck his name is, that weird guy that was on the stand. He uh, reminds me of the guy that's on Back to the Future. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing a reaction to that. I'll probably end up posting that tomorrow, by tomorrow night. Um, I just did an over, well, about a three-hour video on Kayla Montgomery's testimony in the Adam Montgomery trial, well, the, the, um, Harmony Montgomery trial of her father who killed her. So, I'll be doing another video tomorrow and I'll do Dr. Spiegel's testimony so like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this please like subscribe leave your comments down below if you'd like to help support the channel there is a possibility there under my name where it's a heart and it shows thanks or super thanks or something like that if not just like it and watch the videos and that helps me out tremendously so take care of yourselves tonight y'all sleep well I'm changing who I am I'm making a new plan rearranging my life and I won't look back ever again uh, you ain't see me activated you better hope that you never see me agitated I think about my actions plan to